according to you, what is the Kenyan theater scene like? And what changes would you want to see in it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I forgot about this question for a second. <laughs> Oi, okay. The Kenyan theater scene is full of incredible artists doing incredible work with not enough resources and not enough support. It's exciting to see residencies like this coming up. I've seen a couple of other residencies and there's a lot of people doing the work, which is encouraging um, because then I know and we know that we're not alone. It's an exciting space to be in. My hope is that we continue to invest in it, to invest our time, our energy, and hopefully <laughs> um, gain more support and resources to carry on and build the infrastructures that can make it possible for us to continue that work in safer environments, um, financially safer environments, so that we're not living hand to mouth and um, so that we also have a freedom to create in the ways we want to create, in, in the ways that many, many brilliant theater makers uh, can create if they have more support. Yeah. Right, and in that same breath, because you're part of that scene, mm -hmm. it is the transitions. Transitions are yeah. great. <laughs> What other work are you involved in uh, with the Nairobi, the contemporary Nairobi creative scene? And what other work do you do as an artist? Okay. So I will begin with um, the other work I'm involved in. I'm the Ellen the Lamb Sisterhood, which is a story company where we fill the world with stories for African women to feel seen, heard, and beloved. And I am the L and the A is Alea Kassam and the M is Anne Mora, both of whom are a part of this project. And we collaboratively make, make, <laughs> we create stories in multiple mediums from film to podcasting to theater, which was actually the genesis of our coming together, a brazen stage play that birthed a universe of other projects, other, yeah, projects from the Brazen Podcast, to Cabrazen's Storytelling for Little Ones. And as an individual, I'm a multimedia storyteller. My first love is the stage, so I'm very excited to be back on the stage, even in this virtual form. But the other work I'm involved in is storytelling. <laughs> right now, what that looks like is writing. I've been spending a lot more time um, exploring sci-fi, exploring um, poetry a little bit more, a little bit deeper, even though that's been um, a form that I'm, I've played in and performed in. And yeah, I'm excited to see what else can come out of focusing my attentions on my writing, whereas before it's just been performing. <laughs> what were you going to say? 